the sixth inning with that situation that caused you to get ejected? What sort of happened um, that sort of? Yeah, so Jared hit a homer, um, and then him and the pitcher said something to each other. I, I literally did not see the guys went out in front of the dugout like they typically do on a homer. I did not see what happened. But he, um, the, we both were given an unsportsmanlike warning by the umpire. So I just asked him when I went out there the first time, well, what, what happened? Like, what was said? And I think their coach did the same thing. And so they issued the warning. And then uh, Hayden struck out, and the pitcher immediately uh, said something to Hayden. And so it's like, why are we giving a warning if you're not going to enforce the rule? Um, so I don't know if the umpire deemed whatever he said was not worthy of being ejected. But to me, there's no point in giving a warning if you're not going to do something about it when something happens 30 seconds after you issue the warning. And um, so, yeah, I have different feelings on getting ejected and, and what it means. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be staying in the game from this point forward for this year, at least with this team. So that was not a ploy at all to fire up the team or anything like that? Well, I was definitely uh, standing up for them. You know, I mean, Hayden, you know, put his blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. Uh, he came back for a fifth season, um, not to get beat 12 to two uh, by Florida on a Sunday, and uh, you know, it, yeah. So it was totally for that. But um, if that's the best we can do from a response, uh, it doesn't work. You know, it used to be the thing; it should fire up the team, which we obviously needed to be fired up. But now I think. And I've felt this way a long time, so this isn't like specific to this team. I think they just look at man, coach is losing his poise, so something's really wrong. So I don't think it has any value, and it clearly didn't have value for our team today. Was there anything? Were there other players who said things in this meeting after the game? Like what was sort of? I don't player? know. I, I I said what I wanted to say. It was essentially two things, and um, I don't know. Because, I mean, when you look forward here, just um, what do you, I guess, hope to see over the next couple of days in terms of response? From yeah, the um, yeah, we won't practice tomorrow. Um, we have to have the NCAA mandated day off tomorrow. Um, so we won't practice tomorrow. Um, we'll go at 1.30. We'll practice before the game on uh, Tuesday against Southeastern Louisiana. And uh, there's obviously a lot of baseball that needs to be improved upon all phases. Um, and then, uh, you know, the competitive character side of it, it's, uh, you know, it's got to mean something to you um, when there's a scoreboard on. And your, your team has to really mean something to you to willing, you're, you're willing to invest everything that you have. And so for me, it was two separate games. There was the beginning of the game. I thought Thatcher pitched great for four innings. I thought we fought a really good pitcher. It's you know, going to be maybe the number one overall pick in the draft. Um, and then we had some adversity. And then um, after being ejected, I watched every pitch. And uh, you know, it was um, not a good effort after I was ejected. I mean, I think we popped up six at bats in a row. I think there was a couple of strikeouts, and um, we gave up home runs. And um, that, was, that was disappointing. Two weeks in a row, you've been run ruled on Sunday. So you feel like this series especially is more of a wake-up call for your team? They, they care. Like, this is not about them not caring. I think it's about um, playing better baseball. Um, sure, maybe there's some personnel adjustments that I need to make and those types of things. But it's literally just about playing better baseball. And then the, whatever you want to call it, like concentration, attitude, effort part of it, like, again, I'm talking from whatever it was, the sixth inning on, mm -hmm. I don't remember right now, um, that was clearly lacking. And, um, you know, I hope that's, a, I, I do hope that there's a lesson learned or wake up call, you know, to use your words um, for them. Because that, that was, that was tough to watch. I mean, on a TV, that was really tough to watch. That was like, you know, you're dead, and you're actually getting to watch your life play out. And, um, 
I would be disappointed if like I was actually dead and I was watching that happen. And um, yeah, that was that was not a good finish to the game today. You mentioned competitive character. What oh, I guess how would you sort of define that for uh, what does that mean exactly? Well, I'll, I'll I'll preface it as this: going into the day, that was a tough loss last night. That is really really tough. I've had a couple of those over 20 years in the regular season. That was a really tough one. To, so you already can go like, hey man, you're gonna have to rally today. And then really we haven't been very good on Sundays the last two weeks. So we're already fighting, you know, that part of it with this tough loss. It's like, hey man, I want one thing today, which is everything that you have from a competitive standpoint. Obviously I care if we win or not, but it, it's not, I made it clear that's not what I was referring to. It's like, you're facing a great pitcher, you gotta take him, you gotta take him, they get us, you gotta take him down with us, you know. Um, good lineup. Offensive day at the ballpark, we have to be able to compete in the zone, find a way to get weak contact, and we did for four innings, and then we didn't at all after that. Um, and so the, the stage was set for just what the expectation was today. It wasn't winning a series. It wasn't coming out on top in the game. It was one thing. To, to, there was no question that it was more important to us than it was to the opponent, and we, we fell short of that today. And, um, you know, that's it's disappointing. That the four, those four innings are the most disappointed I've been in a long time. It's kind of the message going into, you know, a tough road trip uh, coming this next week. Well, we have a game on Tuesday at home. Um, and right now we need to focus on the Tuesday game at home. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's what an opportunity. I'm assuming they'll be the number one team in the country. You only get so many times you get to play the number one team in the country. Uh, we did last year, and uh, I think the guys that were part of that will tell you that's some of the most exciting, best baseball they've ever been a part of because it was approached the right way. So if it's approached the right way, I would be excited. Um, and so with that being said, we have a lot of work to do uh, to improve, and um, that's what I intend on, on doing. What do, you think happened, what do you think happened with Thatcher in the fifth inning? Uh, I'd have to go back and look. Um, you know, we gave up a leadoff single. We got a guy out. Uh, I know we were trying to throw the ball out of the zone with two strikes, and uh, that was the homer that Shelton hit. Um, it was a good hitter, obviously, as you saw the rest of the day. Um, I mean, it had been 0 for 10 or 0 for 11 in the series up to, I think he went homer, homer, double, or homer, homer, hit one up against the wall. Um, and then, um, you know, they have good hitters. I mean, you know, Evans again. and. Um, his four innings are really good, and it was a tough, tough fifth inning for him. Thank you, Coach.